accent. Hey, listen, get on the camera, man. He's here to do a job. This guy, he, yeah? he missing get an camera. action. Get on the camera, bro. Let, let them know where you've been, bro. What it is in Somalia. Come back, we don't see him. Nothing. He does what he wants. Oh, he does what he wants, man. <laughs> Honestly, bro, if you don't learn, you earn more. I know, I know, but you don't, that's what I'm saying. I got oxen, bro. I don't like, I don't like you. Go on, go on, I don't yeah, like yeah. you. Go on, go on. You, bro. you can't run off. I'm, fa I'm fasting right now. Ah, is it, is I'm it? fasting right now as it is. You know what I mean? But yeah, man, we're here another Saturday, another Sunday. The team's ready. Uh, we just got to see basically how everyone's going to cope with this match. Hopefully, we can get the win. Uh, the trophy's up there, we can, we can defo lift it, but it's all about momentum to be fair, so hopefully we can bag this Sunday, three points, and then we go from there. That's it man, that's all I've got to say. And I'm back now, I'm back in action by the way. Took a little holiday out of the club's budget, flew back home to do some scouting, but I'm back now man. There you go. I want that ball to be in there half the majority of the game. And I feel like we've got the quality to do that, yeah? You guys got to believe in yourselves throughout the whole 90 that you can do it, believe in your partners, believe in your colleagues, everyone that we can win this game because we will win this game, yeah? Um, looking at them, never judge a book by their cover, but bro, like, when, when you know your ability and you know how good you are, nothing can change your mind. So I believe in every single one of you guys that we're going to win this game, yeah? And if you don't think that, then don't play on a pitch, yeah? Step on that pitch, you're, you know you're going to give 100% to win this game, yeah? One, two, three, come in! Yes, my people, welcome back to another Carpet SC video. And today we're back in action playing Bath Old Boys. As you can see from the table, they are located in seventh position and they've got some points to collect. We've got some points to collect. Um, it looks like Junction Elite are running away with it. Just gotta hope they slip um, in their remaining games. Gaffer's gone with a 4 3 3 today. In goal, we've got Fabio. Back four, Jordan, Gideon, Charlie, Shams. Midfield three, we've got Ryan, Dylan and Felix. And our three forwards, Levi, Will and Ritz. On the bench, we've got Dali, Cavell, Kem and Sam. Make sure you guys like, comment and subscribe. Follow our socials, follow us on TikTok and Instagram at Carpet Football. Let's get into it. So kick off, here we go. We've got the boy Tranquilo. Putting that down in Bath Old Boys half. you got Levi chasing down on it. Levi making debut for the club today. Swings the ball in looking for Ritz. And Bath Old Boys are able to clear it out. you got the number 14 driving and he gets tackled. Now their goalkeeper had a really big boot as you can see here. One big boot and it finds its way to our goalkeeper. Um, Shamar on the ball now. He gives it to Dylan. As you can see the surface is not the best. Dylan making a mistake. But Charlie's there to um, help him out. Gives it out wide to Jordan. Jordan back to Dylan. Dylan to Gideon. Gideon puts it forward in behind for Ritz chasing on it. And Bath Old Boy is clear. So corner gets whipped in deep. Gideon, not the connection he wanted on it. The keeper, as I mentioned, with a very big boot. Just there, take some inches out of the box. Um, Refs pulled it back for a free kick and you got the boys here debating who's going to take it. As you can see here, came out of the box. There you see the boys here debating who's going to take this free kick because last time we played Bath Old Boys, um, it was decided with a free kick from Ritz and it made it 2-1 to the boys. Dying minutes. So you got Ritz and Dylan on this one. The boy Tranquilo steps, it hits the wall. Not the best of free kicks, but you got Gideon. The boys are still on the attack. Um, Gideon whips one in back post. Levi, not the connection he wanted on it. Barfold boy is here trying to play. Ball gets intercepted by Felix. Plays Ritz in behind again, who's having a lot of joy um, behind Barfold boy's defense. What is he doing here? Cuts in, can he get a shot off? And that's well defended by the boys in white. One thing we want to avoid doing is giving Bath Old Boys set pieces. Here, we've got the boys trying to tackle. Dylan sticks a foot in, and it's a free kick for Bath Old Boys. So, ball gets whipped in. Cleared away by Gideon. And um, further away by Ritz. And you've got the number six as a shot, and he drags it wide. More of Bath Old Boys here with a ball in behind, but you've got Shamal with great pace um, helping the boys and bringing it forward. Finding Felix now, trying to dummy, 
and he gives away another free kick. Ref says handball. So the number nine steps on it again. He whips one in. Back post. Very close call there. Boys need to watch out. Both old boys throwing now. Dylan's up. Gets it down for Felix. The boys can get grooving now. You got Ritz with a nice touch. Has a shot. Keeper parries it away. He's there for the seconds. And the number four clears it away. But not as far as Will. Down the right hand side. Gives it back to Ryan. Ryan whips one in. Keeper punches it out. And now you got both old boys going forward now. Um, ball into the number seven. You got Charlie who sits down. Number seven. Feels cheeky enough to have a shot from there. And it goes wide. Bring that one back. Great shot from Ritz. Seconds would have made sense, but you got number seven now. Puts Charlie to sleep. Anyway, here we go. Levi trying to bring the boys forward. Um, gets tackled. Felix now. Can you give it back to Levi? Has a shot on his left. And it goes out for a corner. You can see the boys are in full force today. Great support. Make sure you guys get yourself down at one of our games, man. Come show the boys some support. We really need it. But here we go now. Um, Dylan on the ball. Felix now turns out. Looks to spread it out to Will. Cuts back. What can he do here? Looks up. Switches that one to Ryan. Nice switch. Ryan back in the box to Riyaz. And he puts that one over. So Gideon with the throw in. Ryan with the flick on. Ritz trying to bring it down. He gets tackled. Both old boys move forward now. Cheeky nutmeg. Use that the boy tranquilo, but he's working back to get it now. He's got to get it back. And here he is showing a bit of feet. So the number eight now. Switches it left. What can he do? 1v1 against Jordan. Cuts back. Another switch to the right hand side now. Falls down to the number 14. And he puts that over. Ritty has now again in behind. Looking to take the players on. You've got players coming back to support him now. You've got Ryan on the ball. Boys are looking to recycle. Jordan. Good feet there. Gets his head up. Gives it to Dylan, number 88. Goes forward. And he gets clipped. Ref brings that one back for a free kick. Gideon on a free kick now. Number 10 steps up. And he hits the crossbar. Dylan with a rebound. And he puts that one over. That's the free kick taker. The way Tank steps up. Great shot. Keeper wasn't saving that. Now nah, you got bar forward boys number four trying to get them playing. Number five. He had other plans. Let that go through his legs and you got to throw in for carpet. Charlie launches that to um, Levi. Sorry, we couldn't get my words out. Number nine, what can he do? He cuts in, opens his body up like Henri and he sluts that one. One nil to the boys. And it's one nil to carpet. Well-deserved goal from the boys. Levi scoring his first goal on his debut for the team. Very good to see him on a school sheet. Hopefully he can get some more in. Now you got Shamal. Can you do here? Cuts in. Chey. Defo. Defo a booking ref. You didn't want none of the ball. You can see it, man. Head down. He knows what's coming. See it here. Easy booking, first booking of the day. Charlie pumps that one forward. And he goes out for a corner. Corner taken short here. You got Ritz inside the box. Cuts it back for Levi. Has a shot. And the keeper couldn't save it. And Levi makes it two goals on his debut. 2 0 for the boys. Another goal there for Levi, making it 2-0. Coming towards the end of the first half, you've got both old boys trying to come forward. And Jordan kicks it out and ref blows it for half-time. Twice, play short, play short. It's our game, boys. We can pop them off this pitch. That's Honestly, it. I'll say the only time to kick it out is like if you're mad under pressure. That's it. Yeah. But apart from that, just you could go back. 
There's no brush room. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Everyone's touch is good enough to play on this pitch. I was going to say, yeah, we don't use our centre backs as much when we're under pressure. Mm -hmm. So, like, say the ball's with the full back yeah. and he's going down the line, yeah. it's, it's narrow, but we're still forcing it through. When Gideon can just drop off, yeah. all the centre backs can get recycled. Set, and then yeah. you can just set it back again instead yeah. of <clears throat> clashing and then yeah. it looks yeah. messy. He words that I took from there was trust your teammates, trust each other. Trust if you pass it to you, X, Y, Z, he's gonna deal with it and give it back to you. Just trust each other, boys, yeah? Believe, believe, like I said, believe believe in yourselves. Um, cool. With what Brian has said as well, boys, we know we've got the technical ability to do it. Um, when the ball needs to be recycled, let's do it. Let's do it. We've had so many chances where Gideon, Charlie, or even Jordan, we could have just recycled it and gave it to Jordan's side. It doesn't always have to be over the top. It can be Gideon, Charlie, Jordan, Jordan, Gideon, Charlie to the other side. It can be passed like that. Or you can even go to Fabio. Like, they're giving us the time. The only time that these guys actually want to punish is when that ball's in behind. Apart from that, it's going so good. Um, it's good to watch from the outside. It's punish them. Punish teams. Next the game, boys. Yeah? On three. Yeah? One, two, three. Come <laughs> Up the carpet, when I'm on them buckets, I say I feel just charge it, hit target, don't miss me, I feel go hard, he's doing half hearted. Up the carpet, when I'm on them buckets, I say I feel just charge it, hit target, don't miss me, I feel go hard, he's doing half hearted. True say that this can get messy, true say that this can get messy, don't miss no shots like Hesky, can't jump on this wave with no jet ski. True say that this can get messy, true say that this can get messy, don't miss no shots like Hesky, can't jump on this wave with no jet ski. Up the carpet, when I'm on them buckets, I say I feel just charge it. Hit targets, don't miss, we have to go hard in doing half hearted. Up the carpet, when a man then buck into us, they have to just charge it. Hit targets, don't miss, we have to go hard in doing half hearted. Back into the second half we go. As you guys saw there with the ad, our new sponsorship from J Cuts, which explains our new Red Fiery kit. Like I said, if you guys want a chance to win a new kit, make sure you follow our socials. Keep up to date with us. Anyway, here we go. Um, Barford Boy is trying to play. Got Levi brings the ball down, couldn't get control of it. Kem, who's come on to replace Charlie, has a bit of pressure. Levi, more pressure. Boys are trying to get the ball back now. Again, you got Ryan now, intercept. Gives it to Levi down the left hand side. What can he do? Getting closer to goal. Goes for a dink. And he makes a 3 0. Patrick for Levi. And that's a great hat-trick there for Levi. Let us know how you guys think he's been playing so far in the comments. But here we go, we've got Dylan now. To Gibbs, who gave it to absolutely no one. And Bath Old Boy is clipping in behind, forcing Jordan to chase back. Can he do a nice bit of trick? Gets past his player, keeps the ball on. Can he do now? Ryan. Two bodies around him. Loses out. Ball goes out for a throw and Bath Old Boy has taken it quick. The number seven on goal. Can we get away with that one. So started off all right. Just one little mistake there from um, Ryan and Jordan. Hopefully there's no more. So with the second half, we're literally just gifting the ball back to Barfold boys here. Um, and they just give it back to us. Now we've got Will, who's giving it back to them again. The number 14 goes in, Gideon, another free kick. So you've got Fabio here setting up his wall. Free kick taken from Bath, oh boys, and hits the wall, no trouble. Now, Ryan, down the other side, can we attack? R um, Levi, crosses the ball in, and the keeper gets it. Dylan on the ball now, spreading it. Big touch from Gideon. What can he do? He's looking up for options. A bit too long on the ball. What's he doing here? Both old boys get the ball and they look to push forward. Unlucky there. Offside. Now, we always do it in the second half where we come out of the game looking a bit sluggish. Um, here's a big example. Gideon. Crazy touch. Um, Both old boys in behind now. Can they punish? And again, we get let off. We may be blessed that Bath Old Boys aren't finishing their chances. Like I said, every time they get the ball, they just want to give it back to us. Um, as you can see here, the number nine 
Um, gives it to Shamal. Shamal picks up the ball now and he's driving. He's trying to get some action. He's still going. Can he go all the way? Big touch. Can he shoot? And it goes wide. What a run by Shamal. Here we see it. No one in his way. Quick sub here, you've got Dali on, Felix off. Jordan with the ball now um, to Ryan. Bit of strength there shown from Ryan. Managed to get his way forward. He's there driving forward, finds Ritz down the left hand side. What can we do? Can we get something out here? Ritz, finds Levi. Levi, nice little set for Will. And he drags that one wide. So not much action uh, midway of the game. You've got Barfold Boy who lumped the ball in the middle of the park. Number seven turns out. He looks to have a shot. He has a shot. Fabio. It goes underneath Fabio and it's a goal. 3-1 for Barfold Boys. To be fair, Fabio should have done better here. But take nothing away from them. 3-1. Here they go again. Number seven. Shamal deals with it. So corner's been taken. Gets whipped in. We need to deal with this one, it's still in the air. Dylan clears it out to Ryan. Can we get a counter? You got Ryan and Ritz up. Cavell joining down the right hand side. Ryan gets his head up, finds Cavell. Keeper comes out. Cavell puts it over the keeper's head, can he finish? And he makes it 4-1. As we see here, nice counter. Ryan gets his head up, finds Cavell, who's come on, full of energy. Replaced Levi, and it's only right he gets a goal. Great finish. So you've got Will, who's come off to replace Sam, who's on the ball now to try and get his 10 minutes cameo. And he puts that one out of play for our ball for boys. Throw one. Good to have Sam back after his three month ban. Um, he is our goalkeeper, but he can also play outfield. So here he is playing right back, trying to see the lead through. Um, you've got Dali on the ball now. Back to Sam. Gives it back to Shams. What can he do? Switch in hell. Gives it out wide to Kem. Now the boys are grooving. Kem, nice one two with Ryan. Kem still on the ball. Finds Dylan. What can Dylan do? Played slow down a bit. You've got Kem still on the ball now. Can he do? He's got options there. He looks up, gives it to Dylan. Cameraman's in the Come way. On. Dylan on the ball. He has a shot. And keeper can't save it. Makes it 5 1. Cameraman. So coming towards the end of the game now, you got the ball down the right with Sam. And here, with this touch, he's showing why he's a keeper. So the ball's now with Cavell, scores 5 1, 86 minutes. You got Ritz on the ball, chops in, number 22. What's he doing here? Chai! Can he do? Can he get a shot off? Too long on the ball. And eventually he gets a foul. Let's look at that again. So free kick. Rhea steps up and he hits the wall. So with this being the last boot of the game, I can tell you the game ends 5-1 to Carpet. A well-deserved win from the boys. Uh, managed to score in the second half this time. Something that we struggled doing in the past. So what does this mean for the table? As you can see, we're still sitting in second place with 23 points. Junction Elite with 28 as they won their game today against Putney Town. But it doesn't mean we stopped though. We keep going until the end. Hopefully we're blessed with a miracle. If you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure you like, comment and subscribe. Follow our social media pages, Instagram and TikTok so you can stay up to date with Carpet SC. We're back again next week. Same time, same place. We're out. Lovely game, come on, come on, W's out here, early W's. Good game man, how was it for you?
Yeah, good. Nice, nice boys. First time I've seen you on YouTube. First time I've done you before. Nice lads, no trouble. You're a fair ref, I have to say, man. I watched you playing here with Faith. 30 fair. years I've been doing it a long time. Respect, long. sir. Big respect. Wait, wait, wait. Before I go, what's your name, my man? Stephen Earl. Watch out for him, boys and girls. Thank you. Give me top billing. When you coming back, bro? When you back? Uh, next week, I'm back next week, man. Yeah. I know you don't miss me, though. 100% you don't definitely miss me. Listen, man's getting there, innit? Tell them, I like you miss me, though. Them man there, yeah. Them man there go party and don't want to come game. That's, look how tired he is. Look at his face, look at his face. Look how tired he is. Fasting is Ramadan and that. I don't know what he's talking about. I ain't keep off for a month. Back this, this week. Watch. I'll keep definitely getting you a goal as well. Watch. Remember I said this? Bro, I'm up in 10 minutes. My roof's gone already. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, um, good, good, good game. I'm happy that we at least managed to score in the second half because um, second half we do seem to drop it. We did drop it for like 30 minutes and then picked it up. But um, yeah, good that we scored a goal in the second half because that's something that we struggle doing. Um, but that everyone gave 100. percent That's what I like to see. But it's next week. It's another big game. We come in early. Vibes are high. Energy is good. Where's man of the match? Where's Shamal? Yeah. Shamal, well done. Yeah. Um, quality, protected the back line, did a job wherever, um, showed quality. And yeah, bro, Shamal always shows that maturity every single time he steps on the pitch. Man. Well done, bro. How was the performance for you, my man? Oh, it was good. It was good. It was very. I was getting to it now. So I'm just starting this 11 aside thing. But it was good. It was good to be out there. It's going to go, of course. Surprise happened, but <laughs> surprise, yeah, it was very awesome. surprising. But you know, I put in the work. Charles been talking to me, saying I have to step up and keep on it. And I'm trying to do my best. So yeah, it was very good. Very good. Very well done, my boy. Thanks, well played. Thank you, yeah, man. So how was it for you, my boy? Man, I'll be honest. The game was light, bro. It's light. It's light because they weren't really pressing. Obviously, you just gotta do what you gotta do in it at the back. Make sure I keep my defense in tight, line, and just do my job, honestly. I feel tight, I feel stiff. A lot of running, but three points, big players, big game. You just gotta win every game for the rest of the season. How was the defensive line for you guys? You were shutting it down most of the game. Well, we were solid, we were solid. They just got a lucky goal at the end, but it's a minor. I think it was 5 6 1. So, on to the next game. Cool,